image because of this laptop. So the other thing I'm doing is I'm I'm not putting the big road. Some people will start by maybe taking some high density or the medium density and just dragging it straight down here. I'm not doing that. It costs too much, but I'm also not going to drag the dirt road down here because this is your entrance and exit. So eventually you'll want to put a serious road from here. But uh, I don't have any money for that now. And so uh, I can only really use a dirt road. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it down the side. Why not bring it down here? Bring it all the way down, in fact. And then down here we've got uh, a place where we can put some factories. So let's get going. So the first things we need is basic energy. So I'm going to put this. We also need some water. Boom. And finally, we need this horrible thing here, sewage. For now, that'll obviously all be changed later on. Let's go down and have a look at the graphics. This is obviously just the most basic of basic things. It's a water tower. And in the, in the background here, this, this region is a very foresty, open plains, and it's a very, very big region. Got 16 different towns you can put here. This is a, our very minimal windmill. Just gonna me why not put another one on straight away just just for aesthetics just this one just here and uh, I'm out of money almost so now I need some people otherwise nothing's gonna work here so I'm gonna start I want to keep this thing as much on the grid here as possible as you can see because I want to build a big place and I know people hate this some people they hate the idea that you've got to just build all these little squares and you can't I mean you can do curved roads and you can be as imaginative as you want and I've done all that in the past but for this effort I want to go by the book here and do what really what the game wants you to do Because if you follow these these kind of guiding marks here, you will get the most out of the uh, the population. So when things start to develop, in other words, when you change these roads for the medium density and high density, you will get one big building in each of these squares, and that's kind of what I want. So what do I need now? We want to do some shops. Normally you just do them up the side here a little bit. And of course, some factories. Now that's annoying. I can hear an airplane in my ear, which is, uh, I hope it goes away because sometimes, there it is over there. You end up having the sound effect of an airplane continually in your ear. So there we go, we've started to build some houses. Don't have a lot of money at the beginning here, so you can't really do very much. Um, You want to try and 
make everybody happy. Um, to make people happy, you need some parks and stuff, so I might... I might go ahead and just very quickly put something cheap in here. Volleyball. Where should I put that? Uh, I can always change these later on if we want. And I think I've just created some medium wealth some medium wealth land value. Is that right there? Gonna put some houses in here straight away. I am now in danger of going bankrupt after five minutes so we can't really do anything else here we just just do this and this that's it now when these things all start to develop we should start to get some money rolling in and I can now build a town hall, that's nice. Where will I build the town hall? Uh, town hall helps with the land value as well, so good to build that somewhere. I might just put it at the very top here as a entrance to the the entrance to the city see right here let's do that I don't know why wants me to name the place I don't want to do that yet so let's have a look at the Beautiful buildings we have here. Look at that. That's just... It's really uh, well done. The way the background is kind of slightly blurred. Uh, like I said, this is a, a very high resolution. So, uh, I hope this isn't as noisy as I think it is. It seems very noisy in my ears, the sound effects. When I got this game first, I was playing it on a, a desktop computer with about 4 gigabytes of RAM, so I had to have everything turned down to the minimum settings. So it's good to, to be able to play this game with everything turned up to ultra. I mean, mind you, nowadays, just about any laptop or computer, can, you can play this game at full full settings. Back in 2013, I guess, not every laptop or desktop had the same amount of RAM. Like, it's pretty standard now. You've got 8 gigabytes nearly on every laptop. Got 16 on more. What are we doing here? It's a m mill.
And if I pull away, we're just going to get the airplane noise. Aren't we? So there you go. That's that's the beginning of uh, this place. We're making money now. But just we pay attention to the the state of play at the moment. We got three hundred nine people, nine thousand Somalians. Uh, we're making. I can't read it. I think it's five hundred. But in time. We'll have a couple of hundred thousand people here. Why is this empty? You know what? I think I'm gonna just do two businesses in these. I got my fans, someone's working there. And it's 5.19 p.m. I don't like the blurriness. Let's see. What motion blur. If I if I take off the motion blur. Let's see if that Ah, it's still there. Maybe that's just something to do with the resolution, I don't know. This is a fantastic area, look how big it is. at this I'm not even on the high settings <laughs> I didn't realize that I should be on everything should be I thought it didn't look great let's crank everything up to the maximum that's what I was saying I wasn't able to do this when I got this game originally let's tilt shift Let's say standard. Do I not even have the? Yeah, I do. I've got that on. Why were they turned down? Maybe because I just installed EA, the new EA um, platform. Oof, that's going to change things. Yeah, I was wondering, I didn't see many trees and things. But to be honest, I didn't like the trees too much. I Where's my houses? Do they look better? To be honest, to be honest, I don't see much of a 
Oh, there's something. Something just seemed to click there. That looks better, doesn't it? I'm kind of a bit obsessional about this uh, tilt shift. Mm -hmm. Less. Right. Ah, oh, that is much better. I think it's that tilt shift thing that blurs everything when you move the camera. <clears throat> I don't like, I like a little bit of <clears throat> kind of blurred in the background, the distance, but not, <clears throat> not when I zoom into things. To me, that's perfect because it's, there's no blur, blurriness. You can go in as that th this is as close as I can get to the building. Yeah, I don't know. It's all objective, <coughs> I guess. A lot of vegetation here. So, yeah, this factory looks a lot better than it did earlier on. To me, anyway, to my eyes, this is like a perfect, a perfect setup for this game. If anybody's interested, the other thing which nobody does, and I think it makes such a difference, is because I don't even know if a lot of people realize this. At the very bottom, you've got a filter. <coughs> And in that filter, you've got lots of different effects. Vintage, vibrant. Uh, and some of them are terrible, you know. But the warmer one, the one I use, I think is the best one. Let me just try cooler of curiosity. <clears throat> so that's cooler. You can see it changes the aspect. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Cooler. <clears throat> but I'm going to go back to the one I always uh, use, which is warmer. And if I just go back to that factory again, I don't know, I just prefer this particular uh, filter, this look of the game. It looks natural. I know everything looks, I guess, a little dated. But uh, it still looks pretty good to me. You have to remember that this game came out in 2013 it's getting close to being um, a decade old so how much money do we have 11 grand what do I need here what do I want how are we doing for we got a few medium wealth houses there Got a few businesses here. We're not finished building and stuff yet. Yes, yeah, so I think even my war or tower looks a bit better now than it did at the beginning. put a few more shops in here and we 
could try maybe let's do a wind to because we've got some houses here of medium wealth but we don't have any medium wealth shops bit tricky all right that might do maybe some of these might change to medium wealth yeah and uh There we go, that's doing well. Everybody's pretty happy. The industry is not too happy, I don't know why. Maybe I could build a trade depot straight away. No, I don't have enough money. I really, I'm going so slow, but you need to build up some money. Speed things up a bit. My god, look at the size of this map. And is that pollution already? No, it's not. It's just clouds. Huge area this you can see. You can see all the different places that we could possibly use there and there's a great work here and now it's night time It's just gone midnight here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to um, just to show you one another town that I've been working on that's a little more up to date. Uh, that's the wrong one. That's the one I'm just on. We have here this one and uh, this place. Just want to see what this looks like because I was playing this without having the, the settings turned up high. So you can see eventually the towns develop uh, and this is what we get. This town's got a few things to make money. It's got a large casino. Lots of buses. We've got a very good transport system here. We've got... These are the... Uh, that's one of the bus stations. a well put together game. Here I've got some factories making processors. That's making us the big books. And here I've got a little stadium where you can schedule football matches, not football matches, concerts, things like that. And this place is starting to develop and uh, down here I've got one family that I've been following the, the, the Thompsons which live here 
in this little house. And all around them, the city is growing. When they moved in here, God bless them, there was only 500 people in the town. Now there's 150,000. Uh, we've even got Big Ben here somewhere. Where is Big Ben? Ah, there he is. This is our uh, dodgy little gambling area with all the little motels. Just look at the little details on those buildings. The little fire escapes. The windows. And here, the dodgy area. That's why it's got a police station right beside it. This is a French style police station. Why is that guy going so bizarrely? So that's, yeah, only for the young, only for the young. Too noisy for me. Look at all the lights coming on, because it's night time now and is this a motel or no, it's too it's too nice looking to be a crappy motel. There is these are little shitty motels. Excellent. So that's pretty developed. Um, there's lots and lots of things that can still develop there. Anyway, let's go back to... Let's go back to our place. Giovanni Woods. Giovanni Woods, that's still night time. Yeah, it just uh, was off, I'm wondering, it takes off exactly where you left it. Except the speed has been changed. So, we're just a little, a little settlement here. The next thing we'd like to do is put in a basic, we can do that now, I'm going to do that. It's a basic uh, garbage collection. Unit. Again, we want to keep all these things at the very, at the very bottom because we remember that the We remember that the wind is blowing out this way, so we want everything to be as far away as possible from the um, houses. What time is it now? Five. Okay, it's... Uh, what's this? Did I... <laughs> How did that get there? We can do as many factories as possible. Let's slow down. 
And let's see these guys go to work, huh? They're gone already. They're gone to work already down the road here. Got to collect the rubbish or fires will break out. Now the question now is how could we... Let's just put the taxes up a little bit. The question is how can I earn some money in this town at this point? What do we have here? Do we have any... We don't have any oil. Do we have any ore? We've got ore. Could make some money that way. Oh my god, we've got tons of coal. But the coal is in a terrible place. I know from experience that if you put a coal mine there, all the pollution is going to blow all the way across here and they're all going to get sick. Now here, on the other hand, is not too bad because if I could put something there, it's going to blow that way. But as long as I just keep this for industry or whatnot, it's not going to bother anybody. So, maybe. I could do that. Let's see, how much is this going to cost? Might not have enough. Or, it's 27 grand. Uh, I'd like to put it here. But... How big is it? Yeah, no, that'd be okay. Shall I take a loan? I believe I can take a loan. 25. Let's take a loan. I thought I just... Uh, did I not take a loan? 25. Except... There. Or, here we come. Sixteen thousand. <laughs> oh boy, well, I'm out of money already, so I don't even have. Oh, let's have a look at this. Just the colors and the details of the little uh, mechanics. I know it's standard now. Anyone who's played the Anno game. Anno 1800 will obviously be aware of much, much more detailed graphics than this game. So, we're going to start working there, but we, we're not going to be able to make any money until we, until we can build one of these things, a trade depot. You need a trade depot before you can sell any of your stuff. Hey, here comes the gang. Here comes the workers, they've got their little car parked there. They've got a job. They've got a job for life. Maxis. Well, it's not really a job for life. It's a job for however long all that ore under the ground remains. I have a lot of people working here. Boy, oh boy, we should have no um, employment problems in this town. So the good thing about this is it just helped us make some money early on. So soon this is where the, the stuff will be taken away and put into the, the trade depot when it's open. But I like this because it shouldn't bother any 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 of the people. Mm -hmm. 
I'm looking at this spot. I, I played another game here years ago in this very area. Uh, really, I really mean years ago because this game's old. And uh, I remember to this day putting a whole section of little houses in this spot. <laughs> I remember because they had the train behind. It's nostalgic to see the same spot. I just remembered it. Right, we have no money, we need to wait to collect some money. The next thing we'd like to do, I'd like to do is put a school in. I think everything looks a lot better now since I, I kind of fiddled around a bit with the settings. And also, um, turned up the, the settings it themselves. These all look like happy folks. 70%, that's not bad, considering there's nothing here, to be honest, but at least they've got, they've got some nice shops. That's a skating ring. Let me just uh, upgrade just a few of these if I have the money. How much does that how much does this cost? Just these few here. There you go. Uh, hopefully we'll eventually get all our roads like this. In the not too distant future, when we start uh, selling some of that ore, we can at least do something with our roads. But the main thing is to keep the people happy. I like this area, it's very big, very open, and uh, very green. So right now, we're being told here that we are kind of doing okay in terms of industry and shops. And this thing here, like I spoke about many times in these videos, it just means you're doing things right because more people want to move in. And in a sense, if these both of these are very low and you know what I mean then it means you're not doing stuff right because if if this is empty it means nobody wants to move in to live in your town um, which means it's probably polluted or it's got too many criminals or whatever but if you've got a high demand then it's a good economic sign it means you're you're making a place that people want to want to come and live in So, I think what I can do is uh, you can either upgrade the roads and try and increase the size of these buildings, or you can just bring in more people. I'm going to, I think I'm going to bring in more people. At some point too, we're going to get rid of this, I don't know why I put it there, it's kind of in the way, actually, actually, maybe I could put it somewhere else for now, could I? No, I couldn't. I don't have any money. It's a good job I didn't just destroy it. We have to leave it there for now. Let me just... More people. We, we want more people. They want to move in. I can't do anything here. I want to... I oops. I want to keep this grid... Yeah, I want to keep this grid uh, 
exactly as they want me to build it here. There. So just people here. And again, they love parks and things, so maybe we should just try and put a bit of a, what's this thing? 400 and then minus 40, that's okay. Okay. If I put one beside it, what will it do? See, you don't want everything to be Oh my god, that's uh, not what I want. See, the problem with that is that I've just... I've built some... Uh, uh, you can see them coming up already. Rich houses. And I don't, I don't want uh, super wealthy people coming in yet. Because they're very hard to please. So let's try something else. If I go to sports and I try one of these. Okay. That's better because that just means I'm going to get medium wealth people, which I'm fine with. The game loves it when you just draw things like it wants you to. <laughs> oh, that's looking pretty good. This little thing here was telling me we want more people. Well, there you go. I'm giving you them. See, there isn't really any demand for super wealthy people, just for these two. Low wealth, medium wealth. And that's what I'm doing. And to be just for the aesthetic, I'm going to go down here. Oh my god, I've got no money left. Let's put these in. Okay, those houses are going to be a little bit near the factories. But the wind is blowing, uh, oh my god, this is something we would like to get rid of. This is the sewage system. Holy crap. Literally, that's crap. Uh, again, with a bit more money, I, I'd like to move that far away, off over here. But, I'm, um, nothing I can do at the moment just kind of bankrupt at the moment here as well can I no, I've got no money uh, okay let's just wait for we can't really do anything we got to wait for these houses to develop and people to pay some tax to kill oh my god we've got our one big factory which, by the way, it's working away. But at the moment, there is nowhere to send the stuff here, so... Wow, it's going pretty slow, because I've only got... I've only got one big machine attached. 
you, you can do another three of those and then you're going to be taken up but at the moment it's just as well that it's taking the stuff slowly because when this fills up when it has kind of when its storage area is full of ore then it's going to stop working and then I need to sell the stuff man this is one huge area and we're gonna build up here let's speed it up a little bit It's raining. It's raining in Simworld. So my population should be going up a little bit now. I got 2,700 people. I don't know, I need 5,000 and then I can um, upgrade my city hall uh, and then I get to open up, basically uh, I, I get to um, buy a license to put down some transport or to work on tourism, things like that, what you want to do. I think early on, to be honest, is education. You want to try and get everybody educated because then things don't go wrong as much. And it's be great if you get these businesses to become slightly more technical so they're not polluting everything. How is this doing? Can I afford another truck? Yes, I can. Where am I going to put that? And I got no room for trucks. I got this little road here. If I wanted to do this. Hmm. <coughs> what I need to do is get rid of that road, I think. Carefully. Because I don't want to... I don't want to bulldoze the the whole the whole dump. So now I should, if I wanted to, yeah, I could put that there. And these guys, uh, well, I thought they'd go along here. We're going to take out one factory because we're going to need that space. All right. I'm going to take a break.